previously. So it continues. Well, this is all quite strange. Nothing here either. Hmm. There are many aspects to this incident to the incident this time. Too many to be honest. Considering that, it may be a good look back on everything that's happened. So then. Do you like my help? Yes. Yeah, let's look back on things. Hmm. This morning only four of us meet up at the dining hall. Hinakyoko, you and myself. We waited for the others, but nobody showed up. So we decided to go look for them. Um, it was around 8 o'clock when we began our search. And soon after we split up, Kyoko disappeared. After that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room on the floor. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's probably... There's nothing important here. I, I do still remember everything, so... Yep, I already saw this, so... <sighs> nothing, nothing new here. Skip, skip, skip. That, yeah, yeah, I know. That's this is a lot of just dead air here because just scrolling through all of this is just nothing is happening. Mm. Yep, that's the whole case there. However, looking back, things uh, have certainly been very active. If you want to look back at the case again, just let me know. I'm fine any time. That's a rather interesting function there. To look back on the case. Rather unique. Probably meant that you can take a break at this point and come back anytime. Rather useful, I must say. Yeah, okay, do you think he really did it? Hmm. I don't see how anyone could uh, think otherwise. Well, the attacks and murders and disappearances all happened. Every one of us had an alibi. And the last thing Hifumi said when he died... Yeah, he said Hiro's so name. In other words. Then there is no room to suspect anyone else. Okay, but, but if he did do it, why would he hide his identity with that weird costume? Hmm. Maybe he thought that no matter what happened... Oh. He'd be safe as long as his face was covered. Because he's full of the century, you see. I mean, he's kind of dumb. But do you really think that's enough to explain it? I feel like there's a clue hiding in there somewhere. What? And is that it? That's all that bothers you about the case? Well, no, there are a few other things. Like, why did the killer try to hide the bodies? Hmm. And they probably figured that if we couldn't find the bodies, we wouldn't complete, couldn't complete our investigation. But if that's the case, we found the bodies pretty easily, didn't we? Again, it comes back to the fact that the culprit was a moron. Is that really all there is to it? And the other thing that bothered me, bothers me is... Why did they bother killing two people? What? What? Because all the rule says, if you can kill someone and get away with it, you graduate, right? So if you're the killer, your number one priority is not getting caught. Killing two people means more clues, more chances you'll get find out. I see. Hold on, perhaps. I see, so that's what that means. Is everything okay? That's enough. Don't talk to me as if we are friends. <laughs> What's with that attitude? <laughs> but you have my appreciation. Goodbye. Thanks to you, I might have might have some fun with this after all. His mysterious words hang in the air as he left the repository. He looked as if he'd figure out something. But if he did, would have killed him to tell me what it was. Well, that could have easily been that uh, the clue that there could actually be two murders at the same time. So it might be that two people might get blackened. Unlikely, 
and it might be that it, you if you, you you get blackened if you just murder someone and that means that you need to get the murders but that is unlikely still so, um, hey um, Makoto I've been thinking about something it's about the repository what is it hmm. after Hifumi and Taka's body disappeared we split up to look around right I was really scared so me and Sakura stuck together what? and we came right to the repository do you know to look around but when we got here, the rest of the repository was locked. We couldn't get inside. Was locked? Mm. Well, that's what we saw as well, so... And we came here as soon as the search started, so there's no way someone could have beat us here, there. So if that's true, then who locked it? And why is it unlocked now? I wanted the same thing. The door was locked when the search for the bodies began. But now it's wide open. Oh my goodness. There might be some secret lurking in there, but I'll probably have to leave this area to figure it out. Well, obviously. There's definitely a lock on the door, but it can only be locked from inside the repository. I didn't see any way, way to lock it, lock it from the outside. Hmm. The door can only be locked from the inside the repository, which makes me wonder... Hina and Sakura confirmed that the door was locked after we started looking for the missing bodies. And the door is designed so that it can only be locked from the inside the repository. In other words, when Hina checked it, someone had already gone in the repository and locked the door. And when they were done, they unlocked it and left, which is why it's unlocked now. But Hina claims that there's no way someone could have beaten them to the repository. So that certain someone... There's gotta be a clue around here somewhere. Maybe I should check somewhere else. There are some places I already know about. First the nurse's office where Hifumi was found. Then the equipment room where Taka was found. Yeah. Well, let's just go immediately and check those. First of all, we'll go here. Ah. Here. Can we find anything? Doesn't look like anything's off. <sighs> no, she's here. I was sleeping right here when the killer carried the body away. I'm super pissed I missed such an ultimate, ultimately rare event. Yeah. Just December 4, the weapon that was used to kill Taco. The body was moved, but the murder weapon was just left here. There's some kind of tire mark going through the pool of murder. Uh, to, to, going through the pool of blood in the middle of the room. It reminds me about the dolly in the repository. There was blood on its tire. Could that blood have come from here? Which could mean that Taka's body was moved from the equipment room to the repository using the dolly. Both rooms are on the third floor, so that should definitely have been possible. The equipment room bloodstain. But even the dolly was used to move Taka's body. What about Hifumi? Hifumi's body was in the first nurse's office on the first floor. Even with a dolly, there's no way to get it up the, to the third floor. That's still a total mystery. That certainly is true. Hmm, this star. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before and just recently too. Well. There is nothing else here I suspect. Well, let's go to the rec room, just in case there might...